What is up everyone, Nikos here with Premier Guitar at Prova Studios Athens, Greece and today we'll be looking at different ways you can use one of the most iconic guitar effects out there, the wah pedal. Before we begin, please take a moment to subscribe to Premier Guitar and hit the notifications icon so that you never miss out on great guitar content. The wah pedal was created in the mid-60s and since then it has been associated with many players from different music genres such as Jimi Hendrix, Carlos Santana, Kirk Hammett, Jerry Cantrell, John Schofield, Tom Morello and many more. The Y is basically nothing more than an EQ filter. When all the way back, or at what is known as the hill position, it blocks higher frequencies allowing only the low ones to pass. When all the way forward, or at what is known as the toe position, it allows the high frequencies to dominate the sound while blocking the low ones. You could say it's a way of controlling your guitar's tone knob with your foot, and that alone was enough to create a world of different sounds you can do with the Y. One cool thing you can do is add a fair amount of dirt to your sound and play a riff mainly using hammer-ons and pull-offs, while at the same time use your other hand to hold the strings that are not involved. If you engage the wah pedal and slowly move from the heel to the toe position while being consistent with the pattern you're playing, you'll notice that the smooth transition of the band pass filter to a higher frequency will add interesting texture to your riff, while at the same time you'll find the sound enriched with shiny harmonics. To achieve this, take your time while controlling the effect and don't rush to get from heel to toe or vice versa. We couldn't make a video about how to use wah without mentioning the infamous waka sound. The percussive sound you can get by counting quarter notes with your foot on the wah and at the same time counting sixteenth notes with your picking hand. Imagine your lower strings as the kick drum and pluck them while in heel position and the higher strings as the snare and pluck them while in toe position. You can try many things with this technique, such as experiment with different time patterns or choosing to hit the strings differently. <laughs> Emphasize individual notes by going through the whole motion of the pedal while playing them. This works with both clean and distorted sounds, while it can make your bends sound especially aggressive. This technique could give an almost vocal quality to your sound, since it can sound a bit like your guitar is trying to create words. <laughs> Add texture and create a vibe by incorporating the Y effect in jazzy chords. Add some reverb and maybe some modulation to get even more of a laid back vibe going. How fast or slow you should move the wah pedal depends on the groove of the song, since it could be interesting to be very patient with it or to get a bunch of heel to toe movements in between bars. Mm -hmm. 
Use the wah as an actual EQ filter. Select a specific position anywhere in between heel and toe and stay there to stand out in the mix or to create a specific texture for a riff or phrase. <laughs> Emphasize your huge distorted chords by slowly moving from the heel to the toe position or the opposite. This should add tension and increase the anticipation for the next part of the song. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're craving for some wah action but do not have access to one right there and then? Well, you shouldn't worry too much since, like I mentioned earlier, you could emulate the sound of a wah by simply using your tone knob. It's not possible to do all the things we mentioned before, of course, but still, you do have some of the mojo of the effect at your disposal right under your pickup's volume. <laughs> The last thing I'd like to mention about this effect is to not overuse it. The Y effect is one of the most distinctive sounds out there, and that becomes even more apparent by the effect it has on the people who don't play guitar. I find that choosing wisely when to engage your Y pedal will make a huge difference in your tone. On the other hand, using it too much makes it predictable and it takes away from the element of surprise to the untrained ear. That's all for now. Thank you very much for sticking with me through this video, and please subscribe to Premier Guitar so that I can see you at the next one.